this uh, one-of-a-kind machine is really being seen as a game changer for doctors to really help them diagnose Alzheimer's disease early. What's really interesting about this uh, unicorn, as you mentioned it, is that it can actually test hundreds of samples at one given time, and it also allows primary care doctors to be able to order this test without having to send the patient to a specialist. Inside this research lab at UNT Health Science Center in Fort Worth is a multi-million dollar robot built in partnership with Hamilton Robotics known as the Unicorn. So we're transferring the bees. This one-of-a-kind machine can help primary care physicians achieve an important goal when treating patients with memory loss. It can help save them time. So I watched her just deteriorate. Dr. Sid O'Brien is talking about his late grandmother. It took more than a year for her to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease back in 1998. It's incredibly difficult at this point because referral to specialty clinics, brain scans, cognitive assessments. O'Brien calls the robot a game changer. The field has been trying to find ways to help get an earlier and accurate diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. That's where the unicorn comes in. Without a patient having to wait to see a specialist, it can run approximately 3.9 million tests per year on a specific blood sample versus manually running about 486,000 per year. If you think about it, what the lab could do uh, in a given week, the system uh, can do in one day. Adan Orta and David Julevich spent four years developing the multi-million dollar machine. And make sure that it's very, very um, spot on with the transfers. The unicorn's ability to process data quickly and efficiently allows for a larger number of participants to be studied, including underrepresented groups like Mexican Americans who have a higher risk of Alzheimer's disease. Which really provides access to the community to be able to come get this test and get results very quickly. An option Dr. Bryant wishes his grandmother had. As a field, we failed her. Plain and simple. We failed her, I failed her. Um, and I just, I'm fed up with it. I don't think we can keep failing our communities. And the unicorn just went online in August. So, of course, it is still very new. So your primary care doctor might not even be aware uh, right now of uh, this test that could be ordered by them. Uh, the uh, hospital, of course, or I should say UNT Health Science Center, uh, says that they're really working with insurance companies right now to try to minimize the cost of that test in the future. All of those details, of course, Clarice, are being worked out. Yeah, very, very promising for so many people. Alex, thanks for the look at the unicorn.